Hello team, welcome back to 30 apps in 30 days. We're on the night shift tonight, it's 9.30pm. We need to ship an app within the next two hours and if we don't, we might have to shave the hair off as a forfeit. So yes, if you are new here, we are indeed shipping one app per day and making a video every single day. We're on the home stretch now, we've got nine more apps to build. So do subscribe so you don't miss the final run because I've got some good stuff up my sleeve. I've got some ideas that I've been sitting on that I thought oh, I'll get to them later. Now is later, so you're going to want to see them. Time is of the essence, so let's get into today's build. So there's this dude, Tom Deux. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that, but he posts a bunch of GitHub repos. So it's actually quite a good follow on X, just to get some inspiration. But he tweeted this earlier, which is like a nano banana resource and examples of different stuff you can do. And it's got a bunch of engagement. People want to see this. Everyone's hearing about nano banana, nano banana this, nano banana that. But people don't know what it can actually do. And people need to see different examples of that. So then that will give you ideas of things you can build with it. So many apps are possible. It's actually a bit insane. But anyway, once we get into this, it's all in Chinese. So if we translate that, you can basically see that he's got a bunch of examples here. So for example, separating a 3D building, making an isometric model. So this is sick. Like all the stuff here, you're getting dopamine in your brain. Wow, this is cool. Like photos of myself at different times. And he's got references to the creators. And so it's, yeah, it's a really cool resource but not very accessible. So you can see where we're going here. We're gonna spin this off as its own directory of examples of things you can build with Nano Banana. And we're gonna use this as a reference. And we're gonna make sure we're crediting all the original posters there. And, but what we could do here is, I think this is a resource that people are gonna think I can potentially combine this with my ideas for Nano Banana apps. And by the way, if you, haven't seen that free resource with over 50 nano banana ideas which are all free go over to my nano banana video uh, where we did a speed run and we built an app within an hour so do check out that video after this one and and you got that reference there and again here automatic photo editing and he's got prompts for each one but like i said they're not actually translated so it makes navigating a bit tricky photo is boring and bland enhance it cool so perhaps we could wrap this in a better ux and hopefully get this out to a lot more people so that's what we're going for today you see the time i see the time it's up here just in case you miss it so <laughs> let's get to it so i guess out of the bat a couple of options right i can go through and copy each image in copy the that get the prompt but that doesn't seem very smart okay so what i'm thinking is we can take this github repo bring it into bringing it locally bring it into claw code and do a bit of cleanup and try and get some good structure so let's see if we can do that actually before i do that i think i'm gonna just set up a simple next.js project or something and then do this prompt within so we're gonna head over here to better t stack just to get a super simple a project set up because we don't even really need a database here we can just have all the images stored and then have the info stored as json maybe I think that would be easiest. Let's run this better T stack thing and we'll go through here and set all this up. Okay. I'm going to clone this into this project and then see what's up. So hopefully it can clone it locally and then create a bit of a plan for pre processing the data, get the data cleaned up, then get the UI. Hopefully, get that all working and create a much better user experience. And I'm also wondering what else can we do for this? Can we maybe make it public? Maybe we can make it so anyone can submit new stuff. Maybe it will be, like I said, I would like to add to it as I go because there's so many good use cases coming up and people just don't know what they could build. What else can we add to this? And what we could do is add a way for you to actually try it with your own images. So we could almost just have... We could almost have all the examples in it and then it's try it yourself. Because I do think a big problem with uh, these model sites, you go there and they're like, enter your prompt or upload your photo. And you don't really know, there's no good reference. I'm sure there are reference sites, but I don't know of anywhere I can go and just have that browsing experience. I don't think this is that, but I think it might go into it. Maybe we'll put this and the ideas together and a way to actually like browse ideas, try different stuff, try it with your own images. I have some I've got another idea you're gonna have to subscribe to see it because I think it's really sick but yeah like the UX around using these image models is really not that good not that it's not good there's just there's not a good way for people to really push the limits like people will just use do the most basic thing like 
Oh, change color of my t-shirt. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, okay, that is cool. But as we can see in these examples, if you translate it out of Chinese, there are a lot of cool things you can be doing. And so it would be nice to make a product that kind of enables a lot more people to do that. And by the way, like this image reference was only put up five days ago. This guy tweeted out today. Oh, I got blocked out because I'm trying to focus. But that guy tweeted out like today or yesterday and it's got a bunch of traction. If you can ship things quick, you can catch that momentum, be reactive and then launch soon. If we are to build this out nice this evening in, in the next few days, spend a bit more time on it. We do a really nice launch product. Time. This will for sure get a bunch of traffic, like thousands. I'd almost put money on it. And you can now do that. But you need to you need to put the reps in beforehand so that when these opportunities arise or a new model drops or you have that idea that you're like, yeah, that would be sick, then you're ready to go. You're ready to ship and you can ship in a couple of hours like we're doing here. I'm talking a big talk. So let's see if we can deliver. We got an hour and 55 minutes. Luckily, there's no back and there's no off. There's no payments. I'm thankful for that. So it's just about getting this data ready. It seems like it splits through a bit too easy. So I'm not, I haven't really got super high hopes, but we'll see. Okay, so what's it said here? Let's zoom in. My eyes are getting tired at this time. <laughs> like I've got glasses, I don't know where they are, but fault and analyze the repo, design the data schema. Wow, very nice. Copied all images, very nice. Create a JSON database, build the UI. Okay, I'll see it when I believe it. I believe it when I'll see it, <laughs> more like. Added nav, live demo. Guys, what do you think? Do you think this is actually one shot this? Complete the database. Okay, so you haven't done that. Translate, enhance features. Moment of truth. Okay, here we go. And I tell you what, that is not a bad first shot. That is not a bad first shot. Obviously, the main man himself, this guy, long, long, long hate, 140516. Shout out to him. And luckily, we've got Shad Sien set up out of the box with better T-Stack, which is nice. So do recommend using that to get your project set up. That will actually save you a bit, any headaches there with getting stuff set up. Okay, cool. I think it might be nice. So I'm glad we've got the images working. We've got the prompt, we've got copy prompt. I like that. And I like this little tip bit as well. So why don't we get the rest of the data in and then we can clean up the UI, make it a bit better and then see what other vibing we can do. But I'll tell you what, a lot of people hate it on Claw Code right now, but that's done a pretty good job there. Okay, actually before we f complete the rest of the data, we're actually gonna clean up the UI here. And the reason we're gonna do that is because if we have a 47 rows of data, if we need to make a change to like the JSON structure or like the data structure, then we're gonna have to go through and change all of them, which is just a bit long for the LLM. You know, you've got to think about the LLM, make sure it's not working too hard. So what we're gonna do is shape up the UI a bit, clean it up here. And then if we need to make any changes to the data structure to handle that, maybe we wanna have a primary main image or whatever, we can do that. But I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna bring this over to Claude and chat you, try and get a bit of design feedback. Give me some design feedback. Apply ring UI principles to this and shut it to this design. That is not a scientific prompt by any means, but there's this book called Refactoring UI, which is really good. It's like an OD design book. A lot of it is about spacing and component style in theory and all that stuff. But if you are interested in getting more into design and trying to work out how to make your designs better, it is a really good read. Even though there's loads of AI tools to make your designs better, it's actually worth understanding what it is that makes a design better. And obviously I'm still refining that art as well. Let's also run that in Claude. By the way, guys, if you're wondering what this thing is here, it's my clipboard history. I press Command Shift E. It's Raycast, and it's probably the best thing I've ever, in the last year, installed. It just means I can copy and paste stuff, and I don't have to worry about going back and copy and pasting it again. Uh, so clipboard history. If there's one thing you take from this video, it's to use clipboard history. It will make your life so much easier. Source, trust me, bro. All right, so we got a bit of feedback on the design here from ChatGPT, but what we're actually going to do is install the ShadCN MCP within Claude. That way, hopefully, it can make using ShadCN a bit easier. But I did have some issues with this last time. First of all, before we make design changes, we're pushing this all to our GitHub as a safe state. And again, if you're new to vibe coding, get to use GitHub. It's basically like just saving your project as you go. So if you mess up, you can go back to it. it seems a bit intimidating, but Honestly, you can do it all with Claw Code or Cursor, and uh, it's worth spending 20 minutes just figuring it out and watching a couple of videos. Okay, so what else I'm doing is I'm now forward slash init. I'm running init in within Claw Code, which basically goes through the project and like it familiarizes itself with it. 
And I'm also asking, I said, you said earlier in the comment about finishing off the rest of our data structure with images and translations. Can you write a .md explaining how this all fits together? So what I'm doing is I'm just trying to get Claude to make sure that it has a good understanding of the whole project. So that if we go away and do the UI and then come back to do the data, it just knows what it's doing. And isn't going to go off and do some random stuff. So here I'm going to say, can we add the Shanty and NCP? I don't see ncp.json. So I have had a few issues with this before and I'm hoping we're not going to again. Okay, okay. So it looks like we had some issues with doing it with claw code. So we're going to do it in cursor because we've set it out there. I don't know why we keep... I always struggle to get MCP set up in claw code. I don't know why. So let's paste that feedback. Let's ultra think a plan making MCP and use blocks. So it's always good to prioritize using blocks because they're like pre-made components. So let's try that and see where we're at. Let's see if we've got a server running. I don't think we do. Yep. Okay, so we've got a bit of cleaner styling here. We have got the kind of same UI to be fair. But let's let's go over to Tweaksian and I've used their AI feature, which has made a kind of Google style tweak a Shadsian theme, which is really cool. So we're gonna do that. We've just asked we've just asked what version Tailwind we're using in cursor and it said Tailwind V4. Save your theme, save Google code, and then let's go to cursor and say can you install this tweak CN theme? And that should be able to do it through the CLI there. Okay, so we're trying to make the example cards look a bit better, but they're looking a bit bad. But I do this little tip of asking for three examples. And meanwhile, we've got Claw getting the rest of the data in, which is going to be nice. So we'll get the rest of the data in, we'll clean up the UI, we'll patch it up, we'll get it deployed. Hopefully, we got about an hour to go. And should be okay. What I'm actually doing here is dual wielding cursor and Claw code. It's pretty nice, especially because I've got the shadzi in here. So now we're just doing a clean up, we're doing a bit of vibe, check in. We didn't get the UI as good as we wanted, to be honest. It's a little bit plain, can be. I think it's a job for fresh eyes to do it. But you can go through and have a browse of the different examples here, which is nice. Oops, didn't like that, did it? Maybe because that's now on the root. So let's see, we are currently deploying this. So we are wrapping up now. None of banana examples. We've got about 42 examples here inspired by this GitHub repo. So shout out to them. We didn't get around to doing as much polishing as I would have liked, but you can go through and browse and look at the different images, the inputs and the outputs, as you can see here with a little prompt and you can copy the prompt. Again, I think this is a good base and hopefully a good example just to show them. being reactive, seeing like a trend in GitHub repo, taking it, adding to it and again, we could have added more, we should have added some more, but time is running out. So when time runs out, you've got a ship. So there we have it today. We've got some search filters if you if you like that sort of stuff. I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm getting tired now. But let's make sure that's out on production. And there we have it. We'll continue to dashboard nano vibes dot web dot for sell app and take a moment for those images to load in. Hopefully we've got some lazy load in there. And we got a dark mode. At least we got a nice dark mode there. Cool, but that's it for today's video. Hopefully I've been a turbulent few days and hopefully we're back on the path now and we're going to have some good stuff coming this week. So do stay tuned and until next time, all the best.